The Hesperus is a Lowell class science vessel that was commissioned by Azimuth Biochemicals in the early 32nd century. Her sister ship, the Adamasta, was involved in what is now believed to be the first contact with the Fargoid race in 3111. The parent company, who owned these two vessels, were involved in a cover up of the events at the Hesperus's sister ship and had a great interest in non-human technology that both of these vessels were to encounter. For many years the fate of these two ships were unknown until the Adamaster drifted into inhabited space and had to be intervened with in order to avoid it crashing into a settlement. After the fate of the crew of the Adamaster had been revealed to the playbase, Two detectives from the Wall Glass Investigations Agency dug further into the mystery surrounding the Adamaster and its parent company, Azimuth Biochemicals, and revealed something that added another passage within this particular rabbit warren. Investigations within the hulk of the Adamaster had revealed that this vessel had a sister ship that was called the Hesperus. Nothing more was revealed about the true nature of the corporation who owned these vessels other than they were bought out some time later by Farmer Sapien and until this time operated in ultra secrecy. These investigators also revealed that the crew of the Adamaster had exchanged small arms fire with not only the Fargoid presence on the planet but with other entities that were using human based weaponry meaning probably human military but of unknown provenance. A few weeks later, the Adamaster had received a mysterious signal from its supposed sister ship, the Hesperus. During a forensic examination of the Adamaster's cargo hold, an undeployed communication beacon that was receiving some kind of digital handshake was discovered. Although at this time, the original point of the signal could not be determined, it was confirmed to be of interstellar origin and from the Hesperus. Through an individual who identified himself as Salvation, Access codes were given to pilots who were willing to locate the Hesperus. Encrypted location data combined from all three beacons in turn identified the location of the Hesperus in the Perseus Dark region, location linked below. The following is the fate of the Hesperus. Spoiler warning, you have been warned. The Adamaster and the Hesperus were tasked with finding objects of value to Azimuth. One was sent in the direction of the Colsac Nebula and the Hesperus was sent in the direction of the Perseus Dark Region. Both of these ships had encountered the first documented cases of a non-human technological signal other than the mysterious Martian artifact. As the Hesperus arrived in the region it was sent to, sleeper agents hailing allegiance to Azimuth Biochemical's rival, Farmer Sapien, had seized control of the ship and murdered the majority of the crew. This act possibly paints Azimuth's then rival in the picture of the events of the Adamaster. It seems that they had caught wind of what Azimuth had discovered and were attempting to snatch this discovery through violent means. Some of the Hesperus's crew had survived the slaughter and had hidden away inside the ship in the hopes of escaping in order to retrieve some unknown artifact that they were sent to retrieve. Lieutenant Kellerman and a number of the science team managed to steal an exploration vessel from the Hesperus's hangar and ventured out to an unknown number of sites of interest. During this time, one of the Hesperus's surviving crew had opted to stay on board, vowing to take revenge for the death of the rest of the crew. Altering the oxygen filtration unit, Velasco gassed the Farmer Sapien soldiers with the result of killing all but one of their number. A junior engineer who was in an XO suit on the ship's hull while this happened. As this junior engineer re entered the interior of the Hesperus, he found his team dead, including Velasco, who had altered the life support, resulting in his own sacrifice. With limited food and oxygen, it is thought that the last member of this encounter still on board the Hesperus had succumbed to the elements and perished on board. The fate of the lieutenant and the surviving Hesperus crew is currently unknown. Nearly 200 years later, as pilots were triangulating the location of the Hesperus and were zoning in on its resting point, a crew of salvages had already found the lower class science ship and had laid a claim on its hulk. 
on April 8th, as members from this salvage group, who call themselves the Scrivener's Clan, had started to strip the Hesperus of all its value, the ship had automatically sent out a distress signal, and this was received by the comms beacon on board, the Adamaster. While the Scriveners had already removed any items and data of value from the Hesperus, commanders were able to recover encrypted logs from the dredger's uplinks. Upon collecting all four logs, commanders were then contacted by Patience Middleton, a representative of the minor faction Taurus Mining Ventures, which had been hired by Salvation to accept delivery of the logs at Hindmind in Titori and reward investigators with their choice of 2 million credits or 10 units of void opals. The first 10 people to deliver the logs received a bonus of 100 million credits. The Taurus Mining Ventures message also mentioned that Salvation would reach out again when the next stage is ready. Now to me it is obvious that the events of the Adamaster and the Hesperus are major events within the story of the game. The episodic nature of the story, leaving the fate of the survivors unknown, and the Salvation comment is a hint of this. The surviving crew, as mentioned in the logs, set out not for the populated systems of human space, but to places where they believed to be non-human artifacts, most probably of Fargoid design. Although there has been many shipwrecks found out in the black, none of them have had any type of known connection to the crew of the Hesperus. Whatever it was they were looking for, they chose finding these artifacts above their own safety. I guess until Salvation contacts us again, we can only guess as to what it was they were looking for. Thanks for the watch. Apologies for missing last Friday's usual upload time. IRL issues forced me to upload at a later date. You'll be getting another video this Friday as a result. In the meantime, I would like to thank the official members of the channel, David Gate, Ashoka Ash Litanio, Swifto Scythe, Ministry of Magic, Department of Mysteries, Patrick Green, and our new member, the Wandering Reapers Gaming Community. If you would like to back the channel in this way and get some exclusive videos in return, then please follow the membership options below or on the homepage of this channel. If you would like to leave a one-off tip to back the channel and get your name mentioned, then follow the Kofi link below. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and hit the bell icon below and turn on all notifications. Until next time, Commanders, 07.